Hi, today's video regarding Canon Pixima TR4550 printer. You can also use it for 4551 and 4570 printer. So I'm going to show you how to do the wireless direct setup and this is a direct connection between the printer and your device for example Android device, iPhone, Macbook or a laptop or computer and here we are going to use the inbuilt Wi-Fi of the printer so we will switch it on and then we will connect with our device and we will use it for the wireless scanning and printing now the first step is to switch on the printer so press the power button now on the display screen press the setting button and it will show you the setup menu and now look for the device setting option and click ok in this option look for the LAN setting and click ok again now look for the wireless direct and click ok here you will see switch wireless direct so click ok now we want to enable it so just click ok and it will be enabled now it activated the printer's Wi-Fi now we want to know the password of this Wi-Fi or wireless so look for the security protocol and click ok it will ask you confirmation yes so once you confirm it you will see the password is displayed here now you can write down this password or just keep it on screen and now go to the android device now download the canon print app from the app store and open the wi-fi setting of this device look for the direct tr4500 series printers name and click on that it will ask you the password now enter the password as it was shown on the screen and click on connect you will see confirmation connected with no internet now go and open the canon print app open the app now we need to add the printer here so you will see a message here to search for available printers you can click yes and if you don't see this message you can click on the printer icon and it will search for the available printers now it will search itself and add the printer here so you just have to wait for that you have to do nothing else here we can see the printer is added and you will see here so also the name of the printer is available at the bottom and now I'll show you how to do the wireless scanning first so you will see the scanning button is here now to start with that uh, we can use the top scanner bed and we place a page here facing downwards or we can use the top feeder tray and we can place a page here like this so if you want a multiple pages for the scanning then you can use this section and now go and click on the scan button you can also change some setting if you want it for the PDF you can do that also change it for the letter or even size if you want to color or black and white and go back and click on the scan button so one by one it will take all the pages in and this whole process might take some time once it will finish all the scanning then it will transfer the scan on this screen so now the second page is going as well so this way you can see it can hold multiple pages so once it is done we can close the top lid and we will wait for the scan to arrive on the screen here So you can see it is saved in a particular location so once you click ok it will display here now both the pages are present here if you want you can share it for example you can save it and you can email whatever you want you can do directly from here now I'll show you how to do the wireless printing so we need to load a page for the printing here now open the document print section in the app and select a document you want to print from here 
click on the next and current page or all pages then again you can change some setting if you want more copies two sided printing if you want a color or black and click on the print after the confirmation so you can see it has immediately started to print now overall I can say this is the best printer for wireless printing from the Canon it has all the options like you can use it as a Wi-Fi uh, inbuilt Wi-Fi or if you want you can connect with home or office Wi-Fi network and it's quite efficient uh, you can do multiple scannings with less effort and printing and scanning is quite fast in this printer so hopefully this has helped you a lot and if you enjoyed the video thanks for watching